Hello, before we begin discussion on ASM, Automatic Storage Management, let me give you my brief introduction. I am Krishan Kumar Sinani, I am Oracle Database Consultant and Corporate Trainer. Yeah, let us begin with basics of Oracle Database Server. Oracle Database Server comprised of Oracle Instance and Oracle Database. In non-RAC environment, one instance communicates with Oracle Database. Yeah, while in RAC, real application cluster, we have more than one instance communicating with Oracle Database. Okay, before we get into ASM, Automatic Storage Management, let us understand basics. Oracle database has got data files, control files and redo log files. Yeah. Data file, can you guess what does it store? You are right. It has got customer information. What else? Yes. You know, there is some management information for managing the database. So that's management information that is kept in the data files as well. As I told you last time, all operations are done in the instance and then the information is returned to data files from time to time. Yeah, just like you, you do your operations in the memory. Yeah, and then you make notes and the notes are permanent, you know, and whenever you forget anything, you look into your notes. Database server works in the same way. Okay. Now we need to get into detail and understand how to create data file. When we create table space, data file is created. Let us say we create table space with size 100 M. Basically data file with size 100 M will be created and this space is allocated from disk. Yeah, hard disk is providing space to data files. I think that's pretty obvious. Yeah. You are used to the concept of one disk. Okay. In case of ASM, we have many disk. It's called volume. Let us say we have two disk, disk one and disk two. Yeah. And we create disk group. It's called volume. Okay. First, let us understand the purpose of ASM. What is the purpose of ASM? Purpose of ASM is to stripe the data across many disk. Stripe means distribute the data among the disk. Okay. And what is the second purpose? Second purpose is to mirror the data. Like you see your image in the mirror, you know. So it's a copy. Yeah, it's like a copy. Let us say we stripe the data into two disks, disk one and disk two. Okay. And we mirror disk one into disk one A and disk two into disk two B. Okay, so mirroring provides data production. Yeah, data production while striping does the load balancing. So, any questions so far? So, everybody is clear that mirroring provides data production and striping does load balancing. Okay, now let us create table space once again, and this time we'll do it in the ASM environment. Okay, so this time when we create table space, ASM file will be created. ASM file will be spread across disk 1 and disk 2. Okay, if you are made in charge of providing space to ASM file using two disks, what will you do? Just think about it. Well, first of all, you will divide the disk into small units, say 1 MB. Yeah then you will start distributing the space so you give space from disk 1 first and then you give this space from disk 2 okay in this way asm file will get this space from disk 1 and disk 2 is it is it clear to everybody you know just think about it you are the in charge of distributing the space to asm file so first you give 1 mb space from disk 1 then you give 1 MB space from disk 2. Okay. Look, Oracle does this work automatically. And Oracle does it in a very smart way. Every time ASM file gets disk space from disk, file gets extended in size. Okay. 
so you need to extend your imagination and think as the foil extends in size it's getting extends from this one and this two yeah as i told you extend is nothing but a piece of space right let me explain again basically asm disk is formatted to au au is the basic unit of allocation 1 au is equal to 1 mb by default yeah just like you divided the disk you know before distributing the space okay now in this case asm file gets extend from asm disk okay and uh, this is similar to what you did you know i'm sure you can imagine yeah so let me summarize we have asm disk and asm file and i explained you last time the file gets a disk space from disk and asm disk has something called allocation unit called au which is 1 mb in size by default basically as the file grows it gets extends from both the disk initially one extent is equal to 1 au is equal to 1 mb imagine asm file is increasing in size and data is growing in the database okay and extents are getting allocated to asm file let us say we have a disk group dg with two disk disk 1 and disk 2 this is a command for creating disk group we'll do it in the practical okay so uh, now basically when you create uh, table space what will be created asm file right now asm file gets extend one from disk 1 yeah and as the file grows it gets extend two from this two okay as the file grows further it gets extend three from this one and extend four from this two and subsequently it gets extend five from this one and extend six from this two and so on so basically as the file increases and exceeds the threshold size extends with higher size will be allocated okay as i told you one extent is equal to 1 au is equal to 1 mb subsequently extend size will increase to 4 au which is 4 mb when the threshold uh, is exceeded threshold of the file size yeah for example ninth extent is 4 mb in size and 10th extent is 4 mb in size okay and uh, this information is mirrored into disk 1a and disk 2b okay so you can see the pic you know so we have a, a disk 1a and disk 2b and i ask you a question Uh, corresponding to extent 9 in this one what is extent name in this 1a this 1a 9a you are right and corresponding to extent 10 in this 2 what is extent name in this 2b 10b once again you are right okay so this is clear to everybody good now this is so much information about location of the extents on disk suppose i request you to record this information about extents in memory yeah and let's say you memorize this information then i ask you a simple question where is extent 5 of asm file you say it's in disk 1 and if i ask you a question where is extent 6 of asm file you will say it's in disk 2 fortunately oracle does it automatically for you and keeps the extent map in memory area called shared pool hmm? shared pool is in sg as you know okay uh, in sg there are other structures like db cache large pool as you know okay 
so basically where is the extent map in sga it's in shared pool yeah is it clear to everybody any questions please i give you one minute to think and ask me your questions